Привет, my fellow comrades. That is hello in Russian. Welcome to the first episode of War and Economics with me, Vladimir Lenin. No relation to John. Today, I will be telling you all about my two great ideas, war communism and the NEP. Do you know what NEP stands for? Yes, that's right. Never eat peanuts. Ha ha! Only joking. It means new economic policy. And these western pigs say I have no sense of humor. Just because millions starved under my rule. Idiots. So, let us begin with war communism. What is war communism, you say? Well, my job during the Russian Civil War was to run the government. I had to make sure food and industrial production got to the red-held areas. It was crucial I kept my Red Army supplied. No easy task. Food riots erupted and workers left the cities. My solution? War communism. First, I took control of industry so I could control what was being produced. My own managers took charge and the workers had to obey my authority. Trade unions were not allowed and I stopped workers leaving the city. One report said that the factories resembled forced labor prisons in Tsarist Russia. Ha <laughs> ha! What a funny report. The person behind it was later found dead. He committed suicide by stabbing himself in the back 15 times and throwing himself off a tall building. I rationed food. 200 grams of bread per day. And you could only get a ration card if you were working. Factory workers and soldiers got more. You know why? No, really. You know why? It's not a rhetorical question. That's right. They were important in the civil war. There was a black market and people started bartering goods instead of using money. I needed grain to feed my workers. Some peasants were reluctant to sell to me. So I sent my friends in the checker to have a word. Peasants were more willing to deal with them. My checker had their own unique way of convincing the peasants to hand their grain over. But as time passed, less grain was being produced. You know why? By 1921, the economy was in ruins. I don't know why. I blame the Tsar, Rasputin and Alexandra. Why not? It worked before. Robberies and burglaries became common. Industry was down and agriculture had collapsed. Because the peasants saw no point in producing harvest. That was only going to be taken away. How selfish. Five million people died in a famine. Opposition started to grow because of the grim economic situation. Some also did not like the way my commies were running, or to some, ruining the country. There were calls for Soviets without communists. What a cute slogan. Those sailors at the Kronstadt naval base staged an uprising. A dagger to my heart. They supported me in 1917, and now here they were, rising against me. Loyalty means nothing these days. No matter, I crushed them. 20,000 dead. Oh well. So, my experiment with war communism wasn't great. No problem. Now I introduced the NEP in 1921. First, grain requisitioning stopped. The peasants had to give a certain amount of grain to me in tax, but any surplus grain they could sell. Happy peasants. Traders could now buy and sell goods. Happy traders. Small factories were returned to their owners and allowed to sell and make a profit. Happy small factory owners. Larger industries like coal and steel remained under my control, but some larger factories were allowed to sell their products. Some happy, some not. The NEP was unpopular among many communists. They saw making a profit as a return to capitalism. They did not like the fact that bosses of factories or kulaks could hire workers. Too much like the old days. They disliked the traders, known as nepmen. They didn't like that these new city types were getting rich, setting up restaurants, and making enormous sums of money. But I persuaded my party to accept these changes, for now we had to revive Russia's economy. My NEP would put a light bulb in every Russian home. Electric would power modern industry. Modernize the Soviet Union. Soviet power plus electrification equals communism, don't you know? I encouraged foreign countries to start trading with us again. 
There was large scale exchanges. We got Western industrial goods. They got our oil. Win win. My NEP was a success. It lasted until 1928. As you can see, the lines on my chart go up. That's always a good sign. Some pigs, I mean people, say it wasn't as successful as my chart shows. They say peasants could not afford manufactured goods. They say unemployment remained high, thus contributing to a high crime rate. Many were angry that the net men were rich and that there was a growth of a class of rich businessmen. But to them I say this, by 1926, the economy had reached pre-1914 levels. And also, my chart. Look, the lines go up. The lines never lie, my comrades. Okay, that is the end. I hope you enjoyed my economics lesson. Until next time, comrades, paka. That's goodbye in Russian.